guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. That's what the bottle looks like. I've had this foundation um, for several years at least. It has been around for quite some time as well. However, it is one of my very favorite drugstore foundations and I actually recently have not really been using that many drugstore foundations anymore. So I just wanted to see whether I still like it comparing to my slightly more expensive foundations. This foundation is available in six different shades and it currently retails at approximately nine pounds. It is very often on offer, so to be quite honest with you, I don't think I've ever bought it full price. Um, it comes in a 30 milliliter bottle with a pump. It contains SPF 15. It is a fairly well-reviewed foundation. It normally gets approximately 4 out of 5 stars online and according to the description online, introducing Remo Wake Me Up, our first makeup that instantly reawakens skin with a healthy radiant glow and minimizes premature skin aging. A light smooth texture for natural 100 percent poreless coverage instantly eliminates signs of tiredness and lifts skin from fatigue. Radiance pearls illuminate for a healthy radiant glow, flawless natural finish, peptides increase elasticity so skin recovers and bounces back more quickly. Wake up and glow. Wake up and glow. I have already prepped my skin so I have a, a serum, a moisturizer and an under eye cream on and I will be using my Real Techniques buffing brush as always. Um, I can't quite remember the color that I'll be using because I've had this for for quite some time. As you can see, it's actually half empty. I believe it is soft beige though, um, because it looks like soft beige. It is a liquid um, foundation, however, quite let's see dense, but it doesn't feel like it on the on the face. To be fair. As you can see, I have quite a lot of spots at the moment, quite a lot of redness as well. Let's see how this foundation will deal with that. So this is what the foundation looks like. Um, it's pretty decent coverage. I think it's medium coverage. It didn't uh, cover my pores, but I did not expect that. I don't expect that from a uh, drugstore foundation. And yeah, it's pretty all right. I will now finish my makeup. I will cover the spots with a concealer and I will see you guys in the evening and we'll see how it went with this foundation. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it has now been slightly over eight hours since I applied the Wake Me Up foundation onto my face and I must say that it is a pretty decent result even after after this many hours. Um, it has in fact covered some of my imperfections such as for example my pores which is 
quicker than usual, however, I must also admit that I have not really done all that much today. So normally um, the best way for me to test makeup is if I actually go to work. Today I did not go to work and so I haven't really tested it in my usual environment. However, um, it is still on my face. It's not in perfect condition, but it is in a really decent condition. So to be quite honest with you, I am pretty impressed that I can still sort of see the foundation and I can actually, I would say that probably if I were to go out now, I would just really use a little bit of concealer and maybe powder and that would be it and I'll be fine. Um, and then also considering the price, I think it's really, really a bargain to be fair because you, would not usually get a really good quality foundation for well nine pounds whatever the equivalent in euros or in dollars that's probably about what 15 dollars and 11 euros or something like that so yeah i mean this is a really good foundation uh, considering it's drugstore and it's rimmel rimmel which is not the prices of uh, brands and also it has you know it has not caked up it is in some places almost flawless to be fair so uh, I must say I am I am pretty impressed with it I haven't actually used it in a few months and I kind of forgot what it looks like on my face but yeah if you are looking for a really expensive foundation and you do not want some super amazing airbrushed results then I think this might be worth trying it is inexpensive it's available pretty much everywhere Remo is available in almost well most countries anyway um, and yeah the price is right so yeah thumbs up one one thing that perhaps it didn't do so well with was covering my redness um, but it's still a really decent result and anyway I had to actually use um, a concealer to cover my spots so it's really no big deal thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you found this video helpful if you like this sort of videos I'm doing a lot of reviews especially foundation reviews so uh, please remember to subscribe like comment share you can also follow me on other social media platforms such as Instagram and also I will link my blog down below for more reviews. Thank you very much guys and I will see you for my next video. Bye!